Hey, this is Marshall Hayes once again, and I just wanted to cover a couple things I left out of my first video on using the tempo and the grid in Logic. So somebody said they couldn't find the snap, and if you have any of these tabs on the right open, like the list editor, the browser, your snap is going to be under this gear icon. So if you can't find the word snap, look for this gear icon, and then it'll be under there. And let's say your song has a decimal in the tempo, like instead of this song being 100 BPMs, it was 100.5 BPMs. I can't type in the 0.5 up here, so to type in that 0.5, go to the list editor, go to the tempo tab, and right here I could type in that 0.5. And with that, let's say you've already recorded your song and you forgot to set the tempo and you, just, you don't want to have to export everything and import that into a new project. What you could do is select all your regions, right click, Sempty Lock, Lock Sempty Position. Now I could change the tempo of the song without changing the starting time of these regions. And if there's a tempo change in your song, expand the Global Tracks button. Expand the tempo section. If I wanted the song to just increase 10 BPM right here, I could just draw that in. If I wanted this section to, if I just wanted it to be that section, I could make it go back to 100 right here. But if you wanted to do a, if you wanted to do like a gradual increase or gradual decrease in tempo, you can't draw a fade or a curve in here. What you'd have to do is go to the edit tab under tempo tempo operations and now let's say I wanted a, a slow a gradual rise in tempo at bar 17 to bar 25 just type in 17 25 and let's say I wanted it to go from 100 to 115 BPMs just type that in and under density this is going to be how many steps per increment so if I wanted just a stepped rise go to 1 if I wanted a, like a smooth fade, go to 32, give me the most freedom. But if I wanted it to, you know, a little bit, a little bit more step than that, just this is a, how many steps per increment. So if you wanted a, a smooth fade, you want more steps per increment. If you wanted a more of a stepped rise, less steps per increment. Let's say I wanted a smooth fade for this one. If I wanted it to continue on at 115 BPMs after this fade, just check this. If I wanted it to go back to 110, leave it unchecked. This is in the way, but there's that. So that was just a couple things I wanted to include. Thanks for watching. Again, subscribe to the channel. This is Marshall Hayes. Peace.